So here we have the W2CBWG01 uh, half mini PCI card. It consists of a Wi Fi Bluetooth module and consists of a GPS module. The interface um, consists of SDIO for the Wi Fi, USB for the Bluetooth, and UART for the GPS. It also has three Hiroshi connectors uh, for connecting antennas. Over here we have the uh, the test card for that device. The test card, uh, the half mini PCI card is, is mounted on the test card uh, as shown here with three Hiroshi jumper cables going to three SMA connectors. So with this setup we have uh, a Bluetooth uh, antenna connection here, Wi-Fi antenna connection here and GPS antenna connection over here. We have UART for the GPS, USB for the Bluetooth, and SDIO here for the Wi-Fi. The kit is also provided with uh, two antennas here, one for Bluetooth, one for Wi-Fi, a USB connector for Bluetooth, a USB to UART uh, cable for GPS, an active antenna for the GPS, and a CD consisting of uh, Wi-Fi drivers for the wireless, a protocol stacks and profiles for the Bluetooth, and surf demo software for the GPS. Now that we have made all the connections to the uh, test board and installed all the drivers, we're ready to plug this into the SDIO slot of the laptop. And once we do that, we hear a characteristic bling bling which is a Wi-Fi driver acknowledging uh, that the dev kit has been plugged in. The next step is to ensure that the, uh, that the Wi-Fi driver has indeed been installed. And for that, we're going to System, Hardware, Device Manager. We scroll down until we see under Network Adapters, Marvel SD8686 Wireless LAN SDIO Adapter. And just to verify, we can now start communicating over the web. And see if we can actually browse. So here we are at the wiredowide.com website. So that's the Wi-Fi section working. Next, we will uh, look at the Bluetooth. To test the Bluetooth, we plug the USB cable into the laptop and we get a message here saying Bluetooth hardware is found. Next, we actually search for Bluetooth devices in the vicinity and we click on the Bluetooth icon here and go to search devices. So what we're looking for is a laptop to actually find this BlackBerry uh, Bluetooth uh, we're going to be pairing with this BlackBerry uh, and actually transmitting a picture from the BlackBerry uh, to the actual laptop. So now it's from the BlackBerry A310, which is this device here. We actually right click on it and say pair. Once that happens, uh, we get this prompt window saying Bluetooth pass key and we type in all zeros. And same on the BlackBerry, uh, we get enter numeric pass key, we enter four zeros. Click OK. And now the devices are actually paired up. Next, we go to um, this icon here. And we select a picture to transmit from the BlackBerry to the uh, to the laptop. So this is actually uh, the picture of the dev kit we've just been looking at. And we simply go down to send using Bluetooth. Select the laptop, which in this case is the HP DV6000, and start the transfer. 
So once a transfer is actually completed, uh, the laptop will prompt you or will actually inform you that the transfer has completed and then we can actually go and look at the picture. Uh, a message will pop up here saying that the transfer has occurred as it has. An object was received. We click there and then we double click here and we actually indeed see that the picture was transmitted. Next, we test the GPS on this dev kit. To test the GPS now, we plug in the USB to UART cable into the laptop. Uh, just to make sure that the uh, UART to USB cable is uh, the driver for that being installed correctly, we go to device manager and look under ports. And we look here, we, do, we see here prolific USB to serial bridge is indeed on COM1. Uh, we now invoke surf demo. And the first thing that pops up is the data source setup. And in that is the baud rate set to 9600. And for the COM, we need to select one because that is what the USB to UART cable uh, is connected to. We select COM1. 9600 is the correct baud rate um, for the NMEA which the GPS receiver is outputting. We click OK and then we see a series of uh, boxes pop up on the surf demo. We go to this icon here which is the connect to data source. We click that once and what we notice is immediately uh, here in the debug view we have the NMEA commands coming up which def uh, which indicate which GPS satellites are being tracked, uh, the signal strength, etc. Here we have the signal view, uh, which provides information on the satellites uh, being tracked. Here in the left column we have satellite vehicle, uh, for example 17288, that designates the satellite vehicle number. Here we have the azimuth, and the elevation of the satellites being tracked and the carry to noise ratio. Uh, the blue columns indicate that satellites are indeed being seen but not being used as part of the computation. Uh, the green satellites are signifies the satellite is being tracked and actually being used in the computation. Um, here we have the map view on the, on the surf demo. Uh, this is a quite a useful window for a quick check to see if the GPS receiver is indeed operational. If we look here, it shows the latitude of 37.375 degrees and longitude minus 121 degrees. Um, there's, a, there's a website we can actually go to uh, to see if that is correct. This GPS receiver is based in San Jose. And if we look here on this website, which is time and date, and look at the coordinates for San Jose, uh, the latitude is 37 degrees 20 north and longitude is 121 degrees 53 west. So that tells us that the GPS receiver is indeed uh, working correctly. So in summary then, the W2CBWG01 dev kit allows you to test its Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS functionality. There is also a W2CBWG03 available which is the same as the G01 but without the GPS. Um, the G01 module finds itself uh, being used in applications such as ultra mobile personal computers mobile internet devices, MP3 audio and MP4 video players, personal digital assistants, white phones, industrial products, handheld terminals, other portable devices which require wireless connectivity and the, the mini PC icon also comes with various driver support for Windows XP, Vista and Linux.